Well, this isn't the best day to be recording, but I'm out with Phil again, aka Bald Headed Biker. Um, thought we'd go to um, the Cotswolds. Um, to be fair, he said it weren't going to rain, but frigging out. It's really annoying that it is. Um, just stopped to sort of connect the camera, obviously. Um, obviously I haven't recorded like the, the first 40 odd miles. I'm just going to record the last 21. Um, you know, that's still 35 minute video I think. Uh, I'll probably snip the beginning and end off. But yeah. It, People are going a lot faster down here. It's saying that on my sat nav it's a 30 mile an hour limit. Um, but people are doing 60 and I haven't seen any signs, but Phil says on his sat nav um, that he is he's saying 60. But on mine, on my Google Maps, it's saying 30, so I don't know what to believe and I haven't seen any other sort of uh, notices to say that it is a 30 or it is a 60. And it's goddamn windy up here. Lovely views if it wasn't so bloody foggy. Looking at Phil, he's in my review mirror, so I can still see him. Oh, I just thought I'd give a, a shout out to um, Stuart as well, slow rider. Um, he did an awesome vid on the bike for life that I watched the other night. Hey, there we go, it's a 50 now. There we go. So I'm wondering if it was a bloody um, 30 that I was on. So I was doing the right speed, I think. Um, I don't know. But I thought I'd get out. I'm taking the bike on Friday for its first service. Um, by the time I get back home, I think we would have, uh, yeah, I mean, Phil would have covered about 120 miles, um, and that would have bumped my mileage up to about 520, 30, something like that. I found a panda this morning, Sutton Motorcycles in Bromsgrove, and um, they've actually says that, yeah, between four and 600 is fine, so 11 o'clock. So that'll be a two hour wait, I guess, unless they give me a courtesy bike, which I bloody doubt. behind where is he there he is What are doing? 26 mile an hour and he's not keeping up. <laughs> the, the roads are wet and, and slippery and I am taking my time. But um, could do with a hot, hot drink, I'll tell you that much for nothing. Doing 32 miles an hour. Um, be 
did say when we stopped that we'd do 40, but he doesn't seem to be doing that. And now we're going back into the Nationals. hands are gone cold. Heat grips, what a bonus. do this very often so it's like I do forget so I apologise well, well not in the rain anyway It's really nice, I have them paddles, you know, you can go up and down the gear. I haven't actually been in sport yet, I'm still in uh, standard mode, but once I get it serviced then, um, you know, I'll hit sport because I'm keeping the revs down. Um, so, yeah. Oh, we're in a 40 now. That, that, that sat nav mount seems to bounce a hell of a lot. I've got a or in a 30. I've got um a vibration dampener on it but yeah that seems to be vibrating more than it should So we're 17 miles <coughs> away, 29 minutes. Averaging 80 
mile, 80.1 miles to the gallon. Not too bad. Nationals, but no chance I'm doing 60 down here. traffic about this morning considering it's um, only 25 to 12, 11.34 to be precise. I'll give you another wipe. Whee! <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> to 60. <laughs> just don't want to lose it when I turn right in just over a mile. It's course you say like me, which I understand, and the scooter, you know, it's weird when you get a bigger bike, it's, um, it's more planted, bigger wheels, more grip, wider wheels as well. So you've got more rubber on the surface, haven't you? So I said it before when I was on the scooter, um, it was like chalk and cheese from my 125 um, to the 350, and now from the 350 to the 750, it's it's yeah the same, like chalk and cheese, and. Um, I do, I do get what people say, that the faster the bike, the safer it is. Um, under certain circumstances, obviously. Sorry about my sniffing again, but it is cold, and as I keep repeating myself, I do suffer with that. It's just, I think it might be the helmet, just letting too much wind in. I've got to start to learn to use my back brake with my foot because, um, yeah, it's so, 
it's like reaching for the clutch, isn't it, when you haven't got one? Well, I used to reach for my back brake on my Forza. At least the rain stopped. Or oh, we're out the mist at least anyway. Maybe we've come a little bit lower, I don't know. <laughs> Bet the views would be really nice if it weren't so bloody misty. Just hit the 50 mile mark. Then they look really nice. Well, 20 minutes away. Sorry about the lack of views, guys, but you know, oh, look at that nationals and a nice straight opening up as well. If At least the uh, MC is getting a test out, and I suppose it's probably worse for Phil on his scooter. And I know it would be if I was on my fours, though, because that would, to be fair, it weren't the best suspension. But I'm doubting, like, even though I had max preload on it. when you don't know the roads you're so cautious well I am anyway even when you can read your phone like you know with the road layout ahead um, 
and not having any markings as well. It's like not off putting, but you know, where's your boundary sort of thing? Obviously, it's in the middle, isn't it? <laughs> you know, the boundary. Um, just don't go over that. But sometimes it's just nice to be guided. <coughs> Now I don't know if I prefer following people or leading, um, I think to be fair, I prefer following because I think I said on one of my previous videos that you can actually watch people when they go around bends, if you see the bright light come on you know there's something else coming and they've got to slow down and you know, blah de blah de blah. <laughs> That was a weird camp. That's, ooh. That was weird. It was pushing me from the left to the right, that road. The Zoma wheels are slipping off the edge of summer. Probably just a bad camber with people coming round. Oh, here's the rain again. Hopefully it's just a passing mist, but he's got his windscreen wipers on, so hopefully we're not gonna be going into even more. that as I just said that it starts to come down even more bloody British weather fucking load of shit excuse my French but I only checked this last night and this morning at what time I think about six o'clock supposed to have nothing I know we're high up and you get clouds and but yeah we weren't supposed to have anything yeah or Matlock Bath actually or Birmingham to 12 now and it's so dangerous I think walking your bloody visor down here but you know what got no bloody chance cameras in the way as well to sort of put my hand down properly to sort of wipe my visor <laughs> and it's not worth opening it because then my glasses will be you know oh nice views though I do find with this bike actually um, that putting your feet down, the foot pegs seem to get in the way. Um, you know, I keep bashing my ankles. Oh, grit on the road, nice, 30 down out. Gotta watch here because people will bloody cut. mud everywhere you know, it looks like a bad bend there yeah. 
I don't fit out. Ooh, what's the pub? Look at that, a 40, straight into a 30. I mean, come on Alfie, what's that all about? stream so this be lovely in the summer but in the rain it just puts you off about that. Sorry, it's just straight over. Bloody is as well, isn't it? I keep getting rain, spots land on my nose, I can feel it. Um, and I don't know where they're coming from because my voice is down. 60 down here, God, I didn't want to do 60 down here. Unless you're a speed freak, and I'm not, so. Oh, my nose is running quite bad. Places like this can get a little bit more speed up. a bit of country lineage. Has the rain stopped? I mean it could be just droplets coming out of the trees but you know when you see windscreen wipers on people's uh, well going on people's cars then obviously it seems a bit more than that.
tell you what, it must be pretty oil because it's, it's, it's windy. Whoa. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know if you felt that. <laughs> I definitely did. Wind coming from the right hand side. Sort of, uh, you come to open gaps and that's it, blows you bloody everywhere. Or at least the roads have gone dry. take the motorway back home actually because um, yeah well I'm averaging 81.6 miles a gallon now oh yeah I put um the wind deflector on as well on the Puig Touring screen and I don't think that Puig Touring screen is as tall as it should be and I don't know if they've sent the wrong one it says Puig on it but it doesn't say Touring um, but yeah so I've put that wind deflector on hopefully you won't be in too much of the way of the uh, shot but it's just the way it is quite difficult to sort of uh, keep checking your speed, check to see if fuel's still behind me, check the sat nav, check the cars, fight against the wind, try and see out your visor. <laughs> oh, see, that was quite bad, it's quite windy. Um, so yeah, I can see why people prefer to ride alone. I mean, I, one person, I don't mind me and another person. To me, that's great, you know. Um, but I think in situations like that, I think I prefer to follow. Um, oh, fucking hell. Nearly run over a rabbit. That would have been a watership down moment. I don't know if you saw it, but... Rain's coming again. I don't know where it's coming from. I mean, I know the sky, but... Just said it wasn't going to rain today. annoying I love being out on my bike watched a YouTuber the other day saying if, if money was no object he'd be on his bike all the time I think I would be as well cool. so it's all well and good same